First off, we need a project set up to be able to use context. And for that, we need React version 16.3 or higher. Today, I'll be using a uh, code sandbox. Go to codesandbox.io um, and create a React sandbox. When you do that, I'll use the Create React app template. So when you go to uh, deploy this or put it on GitHub, uh, you'll be able to easily run it locally. Just so you don't think I have anything up my sleeves, this is the full source of the application, just this index.js file that you see here, and the dependencies in our package JSON. We have React, React DOM, and React Scripts. That's for Create React App. Now, if you don't see version 16.3 or higher here, you're gonna need to click this refresh button, which will bring you up to date for React 16.3. This is the first version with the new React Context API. Once you've got all that in place, your project's ready to go. If you're seeing something on the screen over here, you can move along and start learning about context.